Well, guys, we're back for yet another episode. It's a massive trip to the thrift today, sifting and digging through local thrift stores to try and find profitable items to sell onto eBay. It's going to be a big episode. Let's get into it. And we're already off to a flying start. I've been able to pick up these Nike Reacts for $25. They're a US size 12. I've paid the 25 bucks, but I reckon I'll be able to turn them into about $80 to $90. So an unbelievable grab there to start the day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Let's get back into that first op shop. I'll show you what else I'm picking up. It's going to be a big, big day. Jumped into the Salvos to start the day, and we've got this Disneyland Paris sweater. And now this is the Spirit jersey. I've never seen this one before, but I had a look at the comps on eBay, and this was pretty crazy. We're talking maybe eighty to a hundred dollars for this thing. Brand new condition. You can get them for about one hundred and twenty bucks. So that was just a really interesting find to start the day. Happy to have it for the twelve dollars. Look, I don't play too much of the books anymore, guys. But these were just a dollar each. Um, some hardcover books in there. The paperback version that you're seeing as well. That was a first edition. So for a dollar each, there were plenty of reasons for me to pick those up. Um, this was a really cool hat. Don't sleep on the hats, guys. We've got the Dulux hat here, four dollars. And then this one was an absolute beauty. A hidden beauty, really. We've got the Southern Comfort New Orleans hat brand new with tags it's actually a cross collaboration with barney cools another very good brand to be looking out for so to pick this up in brand new condition for four dollars should be able to turn it into 35 and then we've got the dries bone the women's vest here i don't see a lot of this sort of stuff dries bone being an excellent brand nine dollars was the purchase price on this one and i reckon i could push about 35 maybe even 40 an instagram viewer poll question here we've got the tommy bahama size large of 15 dollars the benefit of this one is it is 100 silk and i really like the floral print on it as well so uh, a little deliberation for you guys on that one we've also got the pool and shark there was no deliberating on this this was just a six dollar absolute ripper short sleeve striped button-up shirt not bad of a run guys i have got two of the very best ever thrift finds all in the one store the same clothing rack bang bang i'm going to save them until the end of the video this is by far even though it's been off shot run number one this is by far the best of the day i don't think we're going to be able to top this so stick around to the end for that but uh we did have an instagram viewer poll question and that was around the tommy bahama silk 100 silk shirt and it was 15 dollars, quite a bit of money there but i always will go ahead with tommy bahama such a great brand i've sold it really well in the past and when you can be finding it in 100 silk as well for a short sleeve with a really nice floral print that'll move i'll be able to turn that into about 50 bucks and you guys thought so too the majority of you guys saying to go ahead and cop them so what an absolute start today geez i can't wait to show you this this is just an unbelievable find two unbelievable finds that i'll save for the end of the video we'll see you in the second run now here's something i haven't come across too much before but for obvious reasons they really did catch my eye we've got the baseball shoes here i thought originally they were gridiron but a viewer on my instagram channel they told me that they were baseball. So 35 bucks, what would you do for these? US size 10 in excellent condition. Really sat on the fence with that one while I was in the store. This I didn't sit on the fence about though. We've got the vintage Nikes here, the ACGs. These were a very, very cool pair of shoes. Really good condition as well. I had the $15 price point on it. I was very happy to pick those up straight away. So I'm gonna push for about maybe 70 to $80 on those and I'm probably gonna get it. Um, had a good look in the clothing section as I always do. I've been able to find this Insight shirt this is a really first of all a really good brand i'm always picking up insight whenever i'm seeing it this is a size large just love the all over print about this one so to pick it up for four dollars there'll be an easy conversion there to about 35 bucks you can always rely on insight um had a good look at the video games here and um look i was really hoping just being an xbox one a bit of a newer model there might be some good money in this unfortunately i wasn't seeing a whole lot when i was doing my comp searches on ebay always pays to do your checks before you commit to any purchase F1 2007, that was definitely the best of the bunch. So I should uh, be able to get about 25 to $30 for that one. Um, some shoes, we haven't had any shoes yet today. Found these, these are a really nice pair of ASIC shoes. Not a lot of wear on them. The soles in excellent condition. The best part about these shoes, right there, six bucks. Always happy to pick up a pair of shoes for $6. Plenty of profit in those. And then we've got these, I'm always picking these up. A very common shoe, but for good reason. I'm gonna be able to turn that into about 50 bucks. We've got the Nike Air Max is there with those ones so look i would say with shoes really quickly i'm probably not um a big fan of buying the white shoes but for these i'll give them a quick clean and we'll see how they turn out how cool are these shorts we've got the rusties here these are a really nice pair a bit of a funky vibe on the leg there really wish they were my size i might have even kept them for myself but the beauty of this one as well actually there were two pairs and they're the same size so it should make for a pretty easy list and then the last one here is this uh, 25 year movie world t-shirt as well four dollars in a lifeline that should convert into about 30 bucks for all the movie world lovers out there 
Well, guys, those uh, baseball shoes were a very, very interesting cop or drog. 400 votes, 200 apiece. I couldn't split you guys, so therefore, the decision goes back to me and I've ended up leaving them on the shelf. I just think over here in Australia, at least anyway, baseball isn't that big of a sport. So I think the sell-through rate might have taken a little bit longer to sell. Um, so 35 bucks as well was a pretty big entry price to have them just sit there for a few months. So I've left them alone as good as they were, a very, very clean, brand new pair of baseball shoes but we, uh, we sometimes have to leave them. So let's keep moving. So far, so good. Opshot run number three coming up. Well, guys, if you ask me what my favorite brand of clothing is to thrift, I would definitely say Mr. David Smith himself. And here he is right here, a $15 purchase price. It's a size extra large, a crazy all over print on this one. Have a look at this. What a bit of Saturday night fever here. Don't know if I'd be throwing it on myself, but uh, look, I threw it up as an Instagram viewer poll question just because I was a little bit unsure due to the $15 price point, but a great brand nonetheless. Uh, dove into the video games as I always do, guys, and I'm able to find this one here. We've got Dance Juniors. It was a $6 purchase price, not too bad, but it converts into a $30 sale price. So the disc was clean. Always check your discs. That one should turn into about a $15 profit. And then I dove upstairs and we've had a look here into the PlayStation two sing star pop hits um, this is the two microphones the microphones and the dongle they sell really well on ebay so considering this one was in its box and it was only ten dollars that was a pretty a pretty big win for me so i took that one away um, this one here as well we've got bear in the big blue house guys the plush the plush problems they continue for yet another week a seven dollar purchase price here on this one here a real real a real deliberation to be honest with you. I almost took them away. And then this one here as well, we've got Donkey for just the $2 from Shrek. Uh, look, a big tear there, unfortunately. So I had to put him back on the shelf. But if you were to grab these things, take them home, list them up on eBay, you would be selling them for about $30 to $35. I have absolutely no doubt. Plush, it's a big category. I've got this one here as well. We've got the Counting Cars, uh, Complete Seasons 1 to 5. However, there were two DVDs missing out of this bunch. So 137 episodes minus a few, obviously with the missing discs. I've still gone ahead and picked it up because it was only 10 bucks. Okay, guys, Obshop run number three. Now, we need to talk about that David Smith shirt because the minute I saw it, I thought, wow, wait, first of all, what an absolute print on it, an all-over print like that. Um, 15 bucks, it's a lot of money for a single item of clothing. I don't typically like to spend that much myself, but uh, you do sometimes have to make some exceptions. So, one, to get your opinion, you guys have said to go ahead and cop them, and that's exactly what I've done. It's a bit like the Tommy Bahama 100% silk that we found earlier in the vid. I reckon I can sell this one for about 50 bucks as well. And David Smith, if you guys are new into clothing, definitely look for that brand because it sells super, super well. So what an unbelievable run it's been so far. We've got three runs down. I've still got the best of the day to show you guys at the end. So if you're still here watching, keep tuning in because it is going to be definitely worth it. Uh, let's jump into the last run and we'll see if we can't top what we've already found. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, Matt, there hasn't been a lot of shoes in today's video. Well, don't you worry, because there is an absolute haul here to finish it off. We've got these Nike high tops. It was a $25 price point. I didn't pick these up because they were a little bit too expensive, but pretty cool. Um, also found these. These were the Lunar Glide Sixes. They're 25 bucks. If they were 15, I would have definitely committed to the purchase, but I put them back on the shelf for the fact that they were just slightly too expensive. These were an awesome pair of shoes. If you could be finding the GT 2007s, with an $8 price tag, you're gonna clean up. It should be about 50 bucks, but unfortunately, I'm getting a little bit picky, guys, and the soles were just unfortunately not quite there. Too much wear for me, even at an $8 price point. I just don't think I could turn that around uh, with any real confidence, so I'll put that one back. Uh, $15 on these Adidas casual shoes. I'll always pick these ones up. Adidas is a very good brand, um, so to get them for 15, that might only be a 40 to $45 sale, but it should sell. Uh, these ones as well, don't know why there was an $8 price point on the New Balance Fresh Foams, but I'll pick these bad boys up. Really good soles on them. Should turn into about 50 bucks yet again for those. And uh, then we've got the 270 Reacts as well. So the Air Max 270s, really slick pair of shoes here. Happy to pay the $25. They're a bit like the shoes I showed you right at the very start, which are the ones right here, um, the uh, the Worldwides. They should both go for about $80 to $90. So they were the shoes that I ended up picking up out of everything that I just showed you. We had four pairs, and in the end, I paid a total of $70. What an unbelievable trip to the thrifting has been, guys. So many great items. I'm blown away by the haul we've been able to pick up today. And I really want to quickly go over that Instagram viewer poll question first of all. The Nike sweater, in the end, I just left it behind. 15 bucks. Uh, most you could probably get is about 35 to $40. Really good quality, but I just don't think enough profit at that purchase price. These were the two items that I found at the beginning of the episode. And rather than showing you right at the front, I figured I'd leave it to the end for my 30% club members that stick around to the very end. Now, this one's a bit of a personal favorite of mine. I'm a Brizzy Lions fan myself. 
myself, I've been able to find a vintage 2001 Brisbane Lions Premiership t-shirt. This is a size medium, it's in excellent condition, and these sort of tees you can easily sell for $50 to $60. So I'm gonna wait for that. Hopefully I'll get it in a pretty quick space of time. I'm sure I will. This one though, is it tops everything today. This is an absolute ripping grab that I've also found about nine months to 12 months ago, the exact same shirt. It's a Mambo shirt. We've got a really cool Mambo shirt in here. We've got the Good Times graphic on the back. You have a look and check this out. This is a size extra large. It was found in the thrift. I think I paid just the $5 for it. I can't remember the, the little voiceover video that I've got here will show you. But have a look at that. What an absolute graphic on the back. I'll be able to turn this into about $100. If you can find anything vintage Mambo just like this, you're gonna go on to make some incredible dollars. So. Boy, oh boy, guys, what a way to round it out. Two unbelievable finds found in the thrift, literally in the same thrift. Um, and I've hardly paid anything for what will be hopefully about 150 bucks. So thanks for sticking around to the end, guys. Thanks for tuning in to all these videos every single week. I really do appreciate you guys. It means the world to me to get you guys tuning in on a regular basis. I'm just gonna keep making content because I'm absolutely loving doing all of this. And it's because of your support that motivates me to keep making videos. So thank you very much for that. Remember to leave a like uh, if you've enjoyed the video. Remember to sub to the channel if you're watching and you're a non-subscriber, it'd be awesome to get you on board. And until Sunday, when we get back into the flea markets, um, we'll see you soon, guys. Have a great weekend.